It's Wednesday, April 3rd, and from WBHM News, I'm Richard Banks with today's top stories. Alabama lawmakers have advanced a revision of the state ethics law. Supporters say the legislation would provide easier to understand rules for public officials and employees about what is allowed under the law. Republican Representative Matt Simpson, the sponsor of the bill, said he believes it will also make prosecutions easier. But Alabama Attorney General Steve Marshall and State Ethics Commission Executive Director Tom Albritton opposed the bill, saying it would weaken the law. The Alabama House of Representatives voted overwhelmingly 79 to 9 for the legislation yesterday. The bill now moves to the Alabama Senate. Factory workers at the Mercedes-Benz plant near Tuscaloosa are moving forward with efforts to join the United Auto Workers. Reuters News Agency reported yesterday that employees plan to file a petition as soon as this week with the National Labor Relations Board seeking a formal election to join the union. A UAW spokesperson declined to discuss a time frame for the vote. The news comes about three months after the UAW began a campaign in auto plants located in the Deep South. Mercedes-Benz Tuscaloosa facility and Hyundai's plant in Montgomery are part of that campaign. A vote at Mercedes would follow a similar push at Volkswagen's plant in Chattanooga, where voting on UAW membership is scheduled to end on April 19th. And Alabama's new Artificial Intelligence Task Force will kick off its first meeting today at the state capitol building. Governor Kay Ivey signed an executive order to create a task force to recommend policies for the use of generative artificial intelligence in state executive branch agencies. Ivy announced the initiative in her state of the state address in February. Members appointed by the governor consist of cabinet members, legislators, and representatives from Alabama higher education. The executive order states the committee will work to ensure transparency, test for bias, and address privacy concerns. You'll find more news anytime at WBHM.org.